On April 8th, the moon's shadow will sweep across the United States as millions will view a total solar eclipse. For many, preparing for this event brings memories of the magnificent total solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017. In 2017, an estimated 215 million U.S. adults viewed the solar eclipse, either directly or electronically. The eclipse in 2024 could be even more exciting due to differences in the path, timing, and scientific research. Firstly, the path of total solar eclipse will be wider and it will cover more populated areas than 2017's solar eclipse. The path of totality where viewers can see the moon totally block the sun, revealing the star's outer atmosphere, called the corona, is much wider during the upcoming total solar eclipse than it was during the eclipse in 2017. As the moon orbits Earth, its distance from our planet varies, and during the 2017 total solar eclipse, the moon was a little bit farther away from Earth than it will be during the upcoming total solar eclipse, causing the path of that eclipse to be a little skinnier. In 2017, the path ranged from about 62 to 71 miles wide, while during the April eclipse, the path over North America will range between 108 and 122 miles wide, meaning at any given moment, this eclipse covers more ground. The 2024 eclipse path will also pass over more cities and densely populated areas than the 2017 path did. This will make it easier for more people to see totality. Secondly, this solar eclipse will have longer time in totality than the one we had in 2017. In April, totality will last longer than it did in 2017. Seven years ago, the longest period of totality was experienced near Carbondale, Illinois, at 2 minutes, 42 seconds, however. For the upcoming eclipse, totality will last up to 4 minutes, 28 seconds, in an area about 25 minutes northwest of Torreon, Mexico. As the eclipse enters Texas, totality will last about 4 minutes, 26 seconds, at the center of the eclipse's path. Durations longer than four minutes stretch as far north as economy, Indiana. Even as the eclipse exits the U.S. and enters Canada, the eclipse will last up to three minutes, 21 seconds. Moreover, this eclipse will be due to heightened solar activity. Every 11 years or so, the sun's magnetic field flips, causing a cycle of increasing, then decreasing solar activity. During solar minimum, there are fewer giant eruptions from the sun, such as solar flares and coronal mass ejections. But during solar maximum, the sun becomes more active. In 2017, the sun was nearing solar minimum. Viewers of the total eclipse could see the breathtaking corona, but since the sun was quiet, streamers flowing into the solar atmosphere were restricted to just the equatorial regions of the star. The sun is more magnetically symmetrical during solar minimum, causing this simpler appearance. During the 2024 eclipse, the sun will be in or near solar maximum, when the magnetic field is more like a tangled hairball. Streamers will likely be visible throughout the corona. In addition to that, viewers will have a better chance to see prominences, which appear as bright pink curls or loops coming off the sun. Lastly, this solar eclipse is an excellent opportunity for expanded scientific research. During the total eclipse in 2024, NASA is funding several research initiatives that build on research done during the 2017 eclipse. The projects, which are led by researchers at different academic institutions, will study the Sun and its influence on Earth with a variety of instruments, including cameras aboard high-altitude research planes, ham radios, and more. In addition to those projects, instruments that were launched during the 2023 annular solar eclipse on three sounding rockets will again be launched during the upcoming total solar eclipse. Thank you for watching.